early part of the 20th century, physicians sought to determine the weight of the soul by weighing people immediately before and after their deaths. I mean, you'd think if there was ever a time you didn't have to think about your weight for crying out loud. Let's play the quiz. <laughs> On my right this evening, Ian King, a fund manager who has traced his ancestry back to a 9th century warlord named Cadrod the Handsome. Tim Harrison, a freelance communications consultant who worked as a racing tipster under the nom de plume Horseshoe Harrison. And their captain, Tim Hall, a former pub landlord who used to do horoscopes on the radio under the name Mystic Tim. United by a hunger for Holmes, they are the detectives. So you're all big Sherlock Holmes fans. What else does your team know about? We know about other detectives and even wider than that, we know about films and sport and books and all sorts of other things. Are there any things that you don't know about? Yes, but I'm not prepared to reveal that at this stage of our inquiry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if that's revealed during the quiz. You are facing tonight on my left. James Kinsley, a box office assistant who once drove for 100 miles to visit a giant horseshoe made by Michael Portillo. Kaz Slota, a former theatre actor who has played the part of tall girl with cello, giant electric blue cockroach, 17th century prostitute and Agamemnon in various stage productions. And their captain, Vicky Nelson, a front-of-house manager and stationary fiend who came to her only Connect audition with her favourite book of Norfolk Facts. United by a soft spot for the stage, they are the theatricals. So you all work backstage at a theatre. <laughs> How different is it being on a television set? Um, well, we're not used to being in the limelight. We're normally out of it. Um, but we're pleased to see that the glamour of TV is much like the glamour of theatre. And what are you hoping will come up tonight? Well, um things about Norfolk, things about films, or ideally, films set in Norfolk. Good luck. Now, we tossed a coin before the game. Detective, you won the toss, so you will be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Eye of Horus, please. Eye of Horus will be the first question of the game. What is the connection between these apparently random clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Are they musicals based on other plays? Or are they fictional musicals? Okay. Next, please. That's fictional musicals with other films. We think these are fictional musicals within other works of art, films, or possibly even other musicals. That's exactly what they are. They're musicals <laughs> in fiction. They appear in other fictional works. What works? Well, Springtime for Hitler is the producers. Mm -hmm. O Streetcar... That's not from The Simpsons, is it? It is, uh, from the episode Marge, A Streetcar it? Named Marge. <laughs> and we have no idea about Spectacular Spectacular or Manhattan Melodies. Spectacular Spectacular is in Moulin Rouge and Manhattan Melodies in the wonderful The Muppets Take Manhattan. <laughs> Here's a, an extra question. When Springtime for Hitler was performed in Germany in 2009, they couldn't have a swastika on the posters because, of course, it's banned in Germany. What do you think they put on there instead? A pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> is it me or is there something weird about that? <laughs> Musicals within fiction. Very well done for your first point. Theatricals. I'm afraid the film question has gone. What would you like? Uh, twisted Flax, please. Twisted Flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Okay, Next, please. Maybe 500. It's like a special tale. Okay, so there's some kind of... Smell of the head. I think I have another clue. I think I have another clue. Give them. Next, please. Okay, so... Milk, milk. Oh, yeah, milk. Did they get milk? Yeah. Can I have a milk bar? Yeah. Should we give it? Should we get milk? Yeah, go for milk. Let's do it. Uh, milk. They all drink milk. Very well done. You didn't need to see the last clue. Someone who wants to play for a team better than Accrington <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> What's going on in that fourth clue? Do you remember? It's from the milk advert with the kids. And if you if you don't drink milk, you'll only be good enough to play for Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley. Who are they? Who are they? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, because Ian Rush drinks milk. That's what they say in that advert. Winner of the Indy 500. That's a tradition. They have a drink of milk. Newborn babies, of course. Alex and his droogs in what work? Um, Clockwork Orange. Clockwork, Clockwork Orange. Orange, exactly. Clockwork they drink milk. milk. Very well done. Two points to you. 
back to the detectives for a choice. A uh, horned viper, please. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Anything? Next, please. Could be something to do with the word. Next, please. 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 These are words that conclude the titles of books by Richard Dawkins? That's exactly what it is. The last words in the titles of Richard Dawkins' books. Which books? Uh, the God Delusion, mm -hmm. The Selfish Gene. Mm -hmm. Is it the Blind Watchmaker? Blind watchmaker. It yeah. is The Blind Watchmaker and Climbing Mount Improbable. That's that first one. Do you know what Richard Dawkins' first name actually is? Go on. Is it Professor? Not... <laughs> it's not Professor. Do you know? Jesus. It's uh, certainly not Jesus. <laughs> Clinton. Oh, wow. Clinton is Richard Dawkins' real first name. Weird fact. Very well done. And back to you, theatricals. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. There it is. That's the music question. Perhaps yeah. you quite like the music question as <laughs> theatre people. <laughs> No, nobody does. No. Literally nobody does. <laughs> You'll be hearing your clues. What connects them? The first one coming in now. Next, please. Uh, that's a metric I'm going to buy Eddie Brown. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. We'll go for um, streets. Very well done after two clues. That's really rare on the music question. Amazing. What did we hear? Um, Boulevard of Broken Dreams mm -hmm. by Green Day. Mm -hmm. And then um, yeah. Eddie, Electric, Electric Avenue. Avenue by Eddie Grant. That's absolutely right. We would have heard Highway to Hell <laughs> and On the Street Where You Live. Why might you like On the Street Where You Live over there? Because it's the title of a... Because it's sung in the film of My Fair Lady yes. by Freddie Einsford Hill, played by... Basil Rathbone. Jeremy Brett! That's right. Don't use that language here. <laughs> we are not a Basil Rathbone place here. <laughs> Jeremy Brett, the great Jeremy Brett, plays the beautiful Freddie Einsford Hill, sings On the Street Where You Live. But amazing quizzing from you over there. Three points, a rare high score on music. Detectives, what would you like next? Lion, please. Lion. These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Is that Andrew? Oh, George. That must be Patrick Busnett. They're the patron saints of the United Kingdom. That's exactly right. Who are we looking at? We're looking at George from Rainbow mm -hmm. and David mm -hmm. in the statue by Michelangelo mm -hmm. and Prince Andrew. So mm -hmm. presumably that character there is called Patrick. Patrick Starr. He's a starfish. Friend of SpongeBob SquarePants. Do you know there's a fungus named after SpongeBob SquarePants? It's called... Spongiformer square pantsy eye. <laughs> I'm not even joking, it was discovered in 2011. That's actually the name of a fungus. Well done, well spotted. They are things that share their name with the patron saints of home countries. One question remains the water question. That's for you, theatricals. What is the connection between these watery clues? Here's the first. Next, please. That's oh. okay, so fictional despots or something. That's that's quite possible. I think another one. Just another one. Next, please. Oh, oh, that's not Hunger Games, is it? No. No. No, I have no idea what that is. I'll take the fourth. We're going to get another one. Next, Next, please. Oh. Two seconds. Fictional. Despots. Fictional despots. I really love that guess, but it's not the answer. <laughs> Detectives, do you want to have a go? We think they might all have initials before their first name, and they're more famously known by those initials. Tell me something more. 
Uh, are they two initials and this is one of them? Yeah. So J.K. Galbraith. J.K. Galbraith. You're so close, but I think for a bonus you're not being specific enough. They are people who famously use the middle initial K. Right. It is J.K. Galbraith, the economist Kenneth, author kindred Philip K. Dick, right. Right. that comedian Stephen K. Amos, and President Knox James K. Polk, the 11th right. President of the United States. They had the famous middle initial of K in their more well-known name. So really close, but I can't quite give you the point. That means at the end of round one, the detectives have three points, their theatricals have five. <laughs> On to round two, the sequence is round. This time, the teams may see a maximum of three clues. I want to know what comes forth. Detectives, you're going first again. What would you like? Two reads, please. OK, let's see if you can detect what will come forth in this sequence. Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. F G. What's that stand for? Two seconds. X equals four. For what reason? Because X is a letter. Okay. It's always worth a try, isn't it? <laughs> one, I think. Normally, X equals one. You've probably got a better chance in a quiz, but neither of them will be correct in this case. Theatricals, you want to go for a bonus? DH equals four. And why would that be? I have no idea. <laughs> See, now, you're going for a combination of two initials, which has to make it a lot less likely that you randomly hit on the right answer. No, it's TD equals six. Does that help? Nope. No one here a fan of American football. Oh, no. This is American oh, football no. scoring. <laughs> yes. Point after touchdown, that's what the PAT uh, stands for. Safety, field goal, and then a touchdown is worth six points. Any American football fans over there? Yeah. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious when you see it. It's obvious when you see it. That's so often the way, isn't it? So no bonus point to you theatricals, but you may have a choice. Uh, we'll go for Lion, please. OK. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. First dog watch hands. Is it Pratchett? No. no. Um, EastEnders begins. I can't accept that answer, I'm afraid. And detectives, do you want to have a go for a bonus? To be boringly literal, the nine o'clock news. I don't say that's boring, it's correct. Correct is never boring. I mean, we went with free-to-air terrestrial watershed <laughs> yes. begins. What is the sequence? It's uh, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the evening. That's right, and I know you were talking about whether Premier League football starts at 7.30 or 7.45. <laughs> it's usually eight o'clock. Occasionally, it might have a different kickoff. First dog watch ends, what does that mean? That's on board ship. I think the first dog watch is between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. That's exactly right, yes. Uh, we're talking about naval terminology there. Things at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. I wanted something that happens at 9 o'clock, for example. The 9 o'clock news, well done. And what would you like for your own question? Can we have twisted flax, please? Yes, you can. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Is this Chops the Brown? Chops the Brown. 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 Chops the Exactly the job we chose. I think president, president of Surrey County Cricket Club. What's going on in this sequence? It's jobs done by prime ministers after they've stopped being prime minister. So that's the patron of the National Citizen Services, David Cameron. Mm -hmm. uh, the UN Special Envoy is Gordon Brown. Mm -hmm. The Special Middle East Envoy is Tony Blair mm -hmm. and John Major. 
has done various things. The first one that occurred to us was sorry. That's exactly right. It's jobs done by Prime Ministers after leaving office going backwards. Very well done. That is correct. Theatricals, what would you like next? Horned Viper, please. Horned Viper. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. What do we go? OK, so it could literally be anything. We could let's say... Next, one. please. So it's going to be... Size is getting bigger. But is not Puerto Rico the biggest? Oh, so let's make them down here. OK. Uh, next, please. It's going to be... No, it's probably dogs. No doubt. Uh, Cuba is the right answer, and why? They are islands in the, the Bahamas, getting bigger. Caribbean, Caribbean. Just Caribbean islands. I mean, they're in the, the greater. Do you say Antilles or Anti? I'm not quite sure. Antilles. 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 I don't get out there much. I didn't know Cuba was an island, but it is, <laughs> and it's the biggest in the Caribbean. Got to have a few questions like that in a quiz, haven't you? Caribbean <laughs> islands getting bigger, the meat and drink of the thing. Well done. Back to you, detectives, what would you like? Can we have Eye of Horus, please? Eye of Horus. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Should we have another one? Next, please. Legal decent. Disinkind to tell lies. Have a look T at the other clues. Oh, Have another go. T, T underscore disinclined to tell lies. T blank not telling lies is the right answer. And why? It's the Advertising Standards Authority slogan. It's a famous maxim, isn't it? The Advertising Standards Authority still adheres to that all advertising should be what things? It should be legal, decent, honest and truthful. Exactly so. Well done. Theatricals, there is one remaining question. It's the water again being left till last. These are going to be picture clues. What sort of thing would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. A picture of a mouse is the right answer. And why? It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Isn't that lovely? What a nice question. You might not have realised this is our Christmas special. People at home <laughs> might not realise that. It'll it probably go out in August, but uh, it's always Christmas in my house in the sense that I always have Quantro for breakfast. <laughs> a lovely question. Mouse would be next in the sequence. Well done. That means at the end of round two, the detectives have nine points, the theatricals have nine points. <laughs> Time to move on now to the connecting wall. 16 jumbled up clues that the teams need to sort into four connected groups of four. You'll be going first this time, theatrical, so would you like lion or water? Water, please. Water. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall Starting now. Okay, so we've got parts of the part ear. Of the ear. So is um, uh, Star. Yep. Okay. 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 Is that, is that okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you can pull a fast one. You can pull a muscle. Pull you a can pull a pint. Pull rank. You can pull rank. Okay. okay. So three um, lives now. British Hammer and Handmaiden, fi British film studios. So's Eon. So's Ealing, so's Eon. But what's... OK, so Bonspiel, Bonspiel. Stone, Hogline, which I'm... Or British Lion. Is that the signal on an, on an egg? Yeah, I was going to... Oh, are they, are they like, like, um... um a, 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 a guarantees, no. um... Like Hogline? Yeah, standards. Are they standards British guarantees. standard marks? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Um... So OK, we've so we've got so parts of the year, things you can pull, studios, and we believe might be some kind of trade guarantee. Like a, yeah. Yeah. Should we take a punt? Because I, I don't know what these are, so... Yeah, OK. 
You want to try again? No, it's not okay. Two more Sorry. lives. Plenty of time. Try British Lions films. <laughs> One more life. Um, so, is it definitely films? So handmade films? Hammer, hammer films. Ealing's a studio, but Eon is a film produced company. Okay, Ealing's so maybe that's where we went wrong. Stone Studios? No, that, that's what I mean. The Ealing is a studio, it's the others are. That's a film company, so oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. So, what you're saying, Ealing's not in it? Yeah. So, Eon yeah. and what? I don't know. Well, we haven't tried Stone, have we? Or Bonspiel. That we sounds like it could be a. And then what's Stone, British Line? So that's no. it. That was your third life, and the wall has frozen. Oh. But you found two groups, so that's two points, and I'll give you more if you can tell me the connection. Cochlear, anvil, tragus, stirrup. Uh, parts of the inner ear. Parts of the ear. You spotted that quickly. It's a big quizzy thing, isn't it? <laughs> Trivial pursuit, it always seemed to be parts of the ear. And what about the green group? Fast one, muscle, rank, pint. Uh, things you can pull. Things you can pull. And you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There you go. What about that third group? Stone, Bonspiel, Hogline, Hammer. Um, are they standard marks? Standard marks, guarantees of quality? You're miles no, away. No. They are terms in curling. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> and the last group, British Lion, Eon, Ealing, Handmade. Um, film companies. British film British companies. Film. Those are the film companies, and you kept putting Hammer in there. Yeah. Hammer and Rank, the two red herrings for that group. They're all British film companies. Do you know who started Handmade Films? George Harrison and Monty Python. It was George Harrison in order to make the film Monty Python's Life of Brian. So that is two groups that you found and three connections. That's a total of five. Time to bring in the detectives now, give them the other connecting wall, the lion wall, and see how they get on. You have two and a half minutes to solve this wall, starting now. That's what we've got. We can always choose candlestick. Get rid of don't like handlers. That's a okay. candle. Things which are easy. Okay, okay should we go with. We've got five things which are We've got lots of things which are easy. Wiping. Keep looking under the food. What's candle in there? There we go. That's kind of candle. Is that a kind of candle? Is that a kind of candle? It could be could it? Well, something idea. in a dress, isn't it? It's a Is that pleat right? or a, in a dress or something. A street. Back country, back seat. Computer code. Computer in lines. Okay. Let's try these candles. Keep over, easy over. The big chill, the big sleep, the big country, and the big easy. Yes. There we go. Three lives now. Okay. Um, so, menorah is a sort of candle. Yeah. It has various. We're not menorah, we're going to be What else has got sort of. What else has got lots of branches? Bank. Railway lines have branches. Trees branches. have branches. Something menorah. else has branches. And what could be other good? Okay, so what could this be? Cinch, candle, bank, and seat. A cinch, I think, is in fabric. You get a sort of fold. Okay, seat of your trousers, maybe. Yeah. We think computer code is going to yes, be in lines. Yes, we can try it. We've got to try it. Should we go it? Yeah. It's not. Two more lives. Three. Three Railway line. <coughs> try a cinch. One more go. Instead of cantle. Okay, I just want to roll the cinch up branches. Ten Bank seconds. Branches. That's oh. it. You've solved the wall for eight seconds to spare. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. Now, what about the connection points? Tell me about that first group. Doddle, snap, cake, walk, breeze. Unlike this, these are things which are easy. <laughs> things which are easy. And the green group. Chill, easy, sleep, country. If you put the big in front of them, you get a film. The big chill, the big easy, the big sleep, the big country. That's absolutely right. And what about this next group? Bank, computer code, railway line, menorah. They all have... Different branches. Oh, that's right, the menorah, the candle with many branches. And the turquoise group starting seat. We think this is something to do with fabric or clothes making clothes. It's parts of a 
parts of a garment when you've made it? Not it. Seat cinch tree cantle. Not parts of a garment unless you like to wear a saddle. And it's not for me to speculate about your private life. <laughs> parts of a saddle is what they all are. But you found all four groups and three more for the connections. That's a total of seven. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The theatricals have 14 points. The detectives have 16 points. So it's pretty close as we go into the missing vowels round. This is the round where we've taken well-known names, phrases and sayings. We've taken out the vowels and we've squidged up the consonants. And I want to know what are the disguised clues. Fingers on buzzers teams. I can tell you that the first group, according to YouGov research, are all brands preferred by Brexit voters. Theatricals? HP Source. Correct. Detectives? PG Tips. Correct. Detectives? A health lottery. Correct. Detectives? Iceland. Well done. Next category, brands preferred by Remain voters. Detectives? BBC iPlayer. Correct. Theatricals? EasyJet. Correct. Detectives? Spotify. Yes, it is. Detectives? Airbnb. Correct. Next category, things found in the corner. Detectives? Little Jack Horn. Of course. Theatricals? Baby. Well done. Theatricals? Corner flag. Yes, it is. Theatricals? Me losing my religion. The R.E.M. song, very well spotted. Next category, things that happened in 1986. Theatricals? Chernobyl, Chernobyl disaster. disaster. Correct. And after that cheerful clue, Chernobyl disaster, <laughs> the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. And I can tell you that the winners and through to the next round with 23 points are the detectives. And in second place with 20 points, it's the theatricals. Theatricals, I must tell you that you have missed out on being our highest scoring losers by one point. Oh. I'm so sorry. Some brilliant quizzing and you've been a great team, but we just have to say goodbye. No goodbye for you, detectives. You've got the short straw. You're stuck with us <laughs> for at least another couple of matches. Well played. And that's the end of the show. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't feel guilty that you just spent the last half hour watching Only Connect. This is your special time when you put you first. Leave off making dinner, switch off your phone, forget about the kids and relax. Now stop relaxing, the chip pan's on fire and you've had eight missed calls from A&E. But it was fun while it lasted. Bye-bye. <laughs>